Okay guys, here we go. Complete transformation process for Generations Deluxe Wheeljack figure. Again, just a reminder, this is only the transformation and the review is uploaded separately on another video. What we're gonna do then, we're gonna take the back part of the car, we're gonna separate this up here. As you do this, you'll see that the forearms, there was two cutouts there and these tabs were attached in them. So you can bring it right up and out of the way. You can then fold the arms out as well if you want at this particular position. Then we're gonna just slightly raise the windshield and then this is going to enable us to slide the legs down now don't pull it down too far there's not that much bit of there's not that much room or play with it to be honest separate what are going to be the legs there and then underneath these parts are going to be the back of the heel and the front is obviously going to be the toes so you can see that we're going to move this forward like so bring this around exactly like that the good thing about this is if you pull it off by accident you can see it's ball and sockets so you can very easily just reattach it right while this is up and out of the way, I want to show you this. So this is going to be the wings. So if we separate this from the back part, then what you need to do is you need to pull these all the way out. Once you pull these all the way out, you can then, in fact, let's bring the arms down now. So bring the arms forward, bring these around, bring the tie around, as you can see, all the way as we're doing this. So when you bring it down, the tire's on the front side. So as you turn your arm around to the side, bring the tire on this little stretch around there, and you can just pretty much rest that there if you want to for now. Then it's a case of, this is a bit like an automorph with one of the movie figures. If you push the windshield up, you'll see how everything sort of comes out. So that literally was me grabbing at the windshield and at the back, pushing up and out comes the head. Most of the hard work is now done. If we go back to this side, and if I can just show you what we're gonna do. This now you can carefully angle at a 45 degree like that, because what this is gonna enable you to do is, let's move the back bit over again, these are going to be where the wings come out so there's the wings behind elevate that fold it out and then it's just a case of turning the orientation in the forearm and the bicep around so there's the bicep join and then of course turn the hand around at the same time so turn around so you see the bicep join there then turn around till you see the hand and you can then start to attach all of your weapons there he is in robot mode so if we want to go back to car mode, this is perhaps a little bit more tricky, but not too bad. We'll then lift the back part of the car up totally out of the way. We'll fold this wing bit in. And what we're going to do is we're just going to set these up ready. So we're going to bring these down and then carefully just turn that into position and leave it horizontal like that. We're going to leave that to wait there. Then what we're going to do with the wheels, we're going to bring these up and we're going to turn these all the way around. So all the way back around to that side. And as you get it to the top, you can then turn the white part of the shoulder in line with the roof. So we'll do the same on this side. We're going to turn the wheel all the way around, bring this up. And as you do it, just turn the wheel to the outside. So I suppose, to be honest, you can see the ball and socket joint in there. But we'll come to that in a second. Now, if you remember from when we did the transformation the other way, we can just very simply fold the toes down, make sure these two tabs fit in. There's two cutouts there. Oh, just knocked the camera. There's two tiny cutouts there and two tabs on the front. It's just a simple case of lining these up. And then it's a case of tabbing them together at the front as well. Like so, you even heard that click in. Then if you remember, a lot of this will move itself. So if we drop this forward, you'll see the head, or I just need to move the shoulders out of the way, push them in too early. The head and everything will drop down into position and pretty much line up with the front of the car. We're not gonna line it up and click this in just yet. We just need to know that it's far enough forward. So now we can come to the wheels, bring these up. And then again, now we've got to do, we've got to turn around all the orientation. So if we turn this way, first and foremost, you can bend the bicep over itself. You've got a tiny cut out there and a cut out there. This I suppose is the hardest bit guys, but once you get this sorted, it's not too bad. Then we're going to turn the hands to face away like so. So we're going to line this tab there and we'll do the same on here. So turn it around, turn the hand to face away, line the tab up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring this up. You've got two giant tabs underneath there and two cutouts there. You've got to try and line this up and over. It's a bit difficult going this way. You'll see it'll get caught. So what I think the best way to do is to separate this, both of them there. And you can see where you're looking to line it up underneath. Push it underneath and line it up that way straight away. Did you see it click into position? Push it up underneath, clicked it into position straight away. Then you can just close the roof. Obviously, if you want to put the weapon there as well, you can, but we can just close the roof. Now it's just a case of taking the doors, changing the orientation around to the side, lining it all up, and just lining the 
tabs up. If the back comes off again, to be fair, we can leave the back up for now. So we can just take the side, click it in at the front, push it into position. Sometimes then it'll pop out, as you can see, once you've got that all lined up. Then again, very carefully, I said that, but these have come out. It's just a case of putting these back in. Once you've got the tab set up on the side, just close it over the top of it. There you go, guys. Complete transformation process. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.